Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to talk about generating a debug logs for email engine on Windows platform. There are two ways on the Windows platform to enable a debug logs for email engine. The first one is through the batch file and the second one is through the Windows registry. So you will have to go to the AR system installation directory. In the AR system installation directory, go to the AR email directory. In the AR email directory, therein you will find one particular batch file which is named as email start.batch. So this is a startup batch file which is used by email engine to start the email engine service. You will have to take a backup of your email start.batch file to some other name. Just like I have created one other batch file which is named as email start underscore debug.bat. You will have to open this particular file and you will have to put in dash dmail.debug equals to true. You will have to put in this particular parameter on the very last line with the Java paths and the Java options which email engine requires to start. Before hyphen cp parameter, you will need to put in this particular dmail.debug equals to true. Once you save this particular file, just open your command prompt as administrator. Go to the AR email directory. Whatever the file where you have made the change, just run this particular file. If you would like to get a console output, you can just run as is. If in case you want this particular output to be captured in some output file, you can redirect this particular output to let's say some test debug.log. I just run it. You will have to stop your email engine service as it's a manual attempt. As we can see that we have started the service, go back to your AR email location. You can see there is a file which is a test debug.log which is generated. Just try to open this particular file and see what are the entries. We will just wait for a couple of minutes, go back to the logs. We will just try to close it and we will just try to open this log once again. You can uh, see the debug entries will get captured. You will just need to reproduce your use case with this particular debug logging. Once you get these logs, reproduce issue, share it with the BMC support for further troubleshooting. Let's move to the second option. Need to go to the registry location wherein we have to make this particular change. So to open the registry in the run programs, you can type in regedit, which is registry editor. Just click on OK. Once you click on OK on the registry editor, you will have to go to the H key local machine. In the H key local machine, you will have to go to the systems. In the systems, you will have to go to the current control set. In the current control set, you will have to go to the services. Now, over here in the services, you will just need to find out the Remedy Email Engine service. Here it is. So Remedy Email Engine service, you can see there are some parameters as well. Just click on the parameters. And on the right hand side, you will see some parameters which are required for the email engine service. We'll just need to add one more JVM option number, next option number to the current option. Currently it's three. Let's try to create a new string value. We will just make it as JVM option number four. Just double click on it and put a value. So the value is DML dot debug equals to true. Just keep it. And this new parameter has been added. You need to increase the JVM option count. Currently it is set to four because zero, one, two, three, and just four. These are the four options. We have added this new parameter. You will just need to increase this count to five. Click on OK. Then we are all good. Just go to the services console go to the email engine service, just start your email engine. Now email engine got started. You will have to go back to your AR email directory. In the AR email directory, go to the logs folder. In the logs, you can see there are logs, email log, email log.bat, whichever the other files are. Wait for some time. Like last time for the batch file, you will see the debug options over here as well. You can see that the debug options are visible. Same way, now debug your email engine is running on the debug mode. Reproduce your issue, reproduce your test case, generate a log, give it back logs to the BMC for further troubleshooting. Thank you.